Yeah. So good. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today, well, I have a leftover uh, from, well, uh, the shelves uh, and this time it's a Martlach, 16 years old, 46% from the Flora and Fauna series and when it was sold last time, it's gone for Three years now, I think, the price has reached 100 euros, dollars, pounds. So this one was leaking and uh, <laughs> it looks as if it had a, a very hard time <laughs> in some case, in some shipment. And there, oh yeah, there's a scratch. There's a scratch in the bottle. It broke. It hit something. Here, you see it over here. Yeah, yeah, reflex. So, and it looks awful. But I'm happy that this is a crack because then the cork will be good and the uh, whiskey will not be disturbed or even tasting bad. So yeah, here we go. Uh, the flora, flora and Fauna series is called Flora and Fauna series because there are some animals and some plants uh, on the labels and the uh, Mortlach has a duck looking like a duck. Yeah, on the label it's 43% ABV and this had been in former times the original bottle. So when I'm opening the bottle I put you uh, the picture of the original bottle in so you can see the real label in good shape. Um, and then I think in yeah around 2010-2011 there had been rumors that uh, the bottling of all flora and fauna will stop, which hadn't happened. But uh, all the, well, the bottlings which showed uh, acceptance by the connoisseurs, like the Kalila 15 years, which was part of the flora and fauna series decades ago, um, today, uh, uh, Kalila Flora and Fauna 15 years is hundreds and hundreds uh, of dollars, euros, pounds in value. <clears throat> and then uh, Mortlach was one of the very, very favorite bottlings. And then they decided, well, we stop this Mortlach bottling and bring out uh, an own series of original bottlings of, our, uh, of Mortlach. And uh, I had them already here on the channel. There's a 25 years old for 700 something, a 18 years old for 200 or yeah, and a rare old without an age statement uh, below 100. So it's incredibly expensive, those bottles, they're looking very good and so they're looking for the high-end market with those bottles and this one started or was sold for a very long time, around 60. I think they made a significant fault by changing to a such expensive bottling of Mortlach. I have no idea if they have so few casks left that they say, okay, we're selling that expensive because we do not have more or whatever. Mortlach has a very special maturation, uh, not maturation, distillation, where the whiskey is distilled not only twice, not three times, but something in between. They are mixing and I think they are distilling 2.83 times. Uh, I said that in, in detail with the old Martlach videos of this uh, trinity of special bottles. Um, and this brings, well, a particular taste in it. Uh, but in contrast to the three uh, new bottlings, 
uh, this one had been a sherry matured whiskey. So this was even, well, more preferred at the connoisseurs. Um, Motlac is, uh, is a distillery uh, owned by Diageo, the world's biggest spirits company. And uh, the Flora and Fauna series is as well uh, published or issued by Diageo. So this had been the, yeah, good cork. This had been uh, the original bottling uh, before they brought out uh, the three new ones. Uh, this was known or stood for the original bottling because there hadn't been another else. Wonderfully dark. And uh, it's not officially known if this series is uncolored or not, but uh, I've seen different batches with different colors at the Flora and Fauna series. So the chances that the Flora and Fauna series is uncolored is quite high. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so good. It has an intention of smoke, but there's no smoke in it. But there's a feeling of heavy aromatic, probably from the oak, a full sherry, a dominant sherry. And it's not the sweet one. It's a fruity, dark, oxidized cherry. Oak is not present in the first. Vanilla showing through. An extremely well-made whiskey. One of the very, very best. Yeah, so I'm so sorry that they stopped filling this Mordlach, 16 years old. Do I care about a, a, a glass? Uh, piece in here? No, not really. Uh, it looked as if there is just a hit from the outside, so the inner surface is, is quite uh, going through. Uh, just the scratch, uh, but missing parts are just on the outside. And I poured very carefully so that the glass should have been stayed at the bottom. And whoever is uh, anxious uh, should uh, pour such a whiskey through a tea filter, then everything stays behind and you're fine. But you have to keep an old bottle, an old empty bottle. Yeah. Mmm. Oh. Full, fruity, strong, and starting to develop oakiness, a hint of dark chocolate in the aftertaste, a little drier, and in the aftertaste, more and more dark chocolate is developing. There's 80, 85 percent cocoa in the mixture of the chocolate. Ah, oh, this is a star. So I have to <laughs> uh, to take the video of the best whiskies in February. Uh, I don't think that I dare to, to put that bottle on my table because it's no longer available on the shelves. Yeah. I will take this one for later. Sipping. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come as always. And feel free to share this video with your friends. And if you have questions, please ask them in our forum on whiskey.com. And you're able to log in with, with your Facebook account or Google. No problem. Easy going. Just ask questions. Thank you. Em.